Right, so what has happened to Charlie Carpenter Cycling? Well, if you don't know, you don't follow me on Instagram or anything else. I had quite a big crash. Um, I broke a lot of bones, broke my leg, uh, broke my arm, broke five vertebrae, broke three ribs, and I had a brain bleed, so I also had some surgery on my brain. So I've been in the hospital for the last three weeks, but I'm finally home, and I thought, go through what happened. So anyway, this is Belmont Hill, the one and only. Going down this with my mate, decent speeds. Anyway, go around this corner, no issues at all. Take it very well. I've done this road up and down maybe 50 times, maybe more. It's, a, it's an absolute classic and we love it. So anyway, go around this corner again, no issues. Um, you know, we're, we're going pretty fast down here. We're having not, not a race, but like, you know, we're, we're going for it. Um, anyway, slight uphill. And uh, it's all going swimmingly. Finished my exams. Everything's not lovely summer this day. Um, I can remember this crash uh, just about. Can't really remember anything afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I do remember the crash. So we're coming down here. And uh, we come up to this corner. And it gets to about maybe a little bit further on down here. About here, I'd say. I realise, nah, mate, you're carrying too much speed. And um, as you can see, it's quite a tight corner, this. Tight right-hander. Tightens up. Anyway, at this point, here, I suddenly realise, nah, I'm not going to make it round. Not going to make it round. So anyway, I see a little escape, this little place here. Uh, or maybe it was slightly further back. Obviously, my memory is pretty bad because I had big brain injury. Maybe it was around here. And I decided, you know what? Obviously, it looks different when I was here, but there's like a field here. So I was like, well, I'm not going to make the corner going way too fast. I was going 55k an hour, 57k an hour, I think. And so I decided to go into this field. And little do I know, this field has like huge amounts of trees, a concrete wall, and everything else. So anyway, I hit a concrete wall, go flying, I think flip over my handlebars. This is the field I'm talking about. End up in a field, my mate's ahead of me. Luckily, the old legend, Ollie Daniels, sorted me out, called the ambulance, three ambulances came. And um, yeah, picked me up and you know, all the rest of it. I can't remember any of this. I arrived at hospital, um, did loads of in, like brain scannings and stuff, um, lots of x-rays just to check I was okay. Uh, they operated on my brain pretty quickly um, and basically I had a, um, an artery basically exploded I think in my brain. So they had to, so I had a brain bleed. So basically what they did is cut over my head, drilled out some of the skull to relieve the pressure and then put a metal plate in. Uh, after that, they did, did seven hours of surgery on my leg and my back. Uh, so my left, left femur broke pretty conclusively in two and um, they nailed it back together, um, which is good. And then my back, um, they, my top five vertebrae were broken. So I was very lucky I wasn't paralyzed or anything. So, you know, it was, I was really lucky all over to be honest. And um, so the, the top five vertebrae, they put two metal plates uh, going either side up the back and nailed the vertebrae to it and then I also broke my right arm uh, my clavicle I believe it was no not my clavicle so I can't remember the exact medical term medical bone sorry uh, but sort of my forearm and again they operated on that they didn't operate on the ones they just casted it uh, and then they operated it later basically broke my bone and um, nailed it back together uh, my ribs I broke three ribs as well but they obviously don't really do anything for ribs they just let them recover um, so in terms of recovery, it's going pretty well, to be honest, like I'm back at home now, which is really good. I had about three weeks in hospital um, where I also contracted pneumonia as well. So I was sedated for about a week and a bit. So I couldn't remember a lot of the hospital experience. Um, I couldn't swallow, um, couldn't eat. I sped through a tube um, through my nose for about a week and a bit. And I, so yeah, so like now I'm pretty good, to be honest. I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm just sort of grateful that I didn't damage myself too much. Um, which is all, which is all good, um, and yeah. So it's you know I, I was I was lucky. I had a big crash. I was an idiot for sure. It's going too fast, uh, but you know that's life. Uh, it wasn't ideal. My mum has been really useful, helpful. Don't think I would have really survived without her, to be honest. Because she came and lived in Bristol. Because I crashed in Bristol, and obviously I live in London. She came and like basically lived in Bristol for three weeks, and visited me every day, and um, helped me a lot, just mentally, because it was pretty traumatic for me and also everyone else. Like when I was sedated, I had a week of horrendous hallucinations, uh, dreams and all the rest of it. 
I had an alternate week, which was one of the worst weeks I've ever had. Um, I had a lot of stressful things going on mentally, but it's all fine now because I basically realized that didn't happen. Um, I haven't had any flashbacks or anything, which is good. Um, so yeah, like everything's on the mend. Um, I should be going back to university. They weren't 100% sure, just because obviously I had a big brain injury and they're not sure how my brain's gonna um, get back to normal. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And then get back to cycling. Uh, no one really knows, to be honest. Um, because I've had such, like, diff like obviously if you break a leg, you know exactly how long it's gonna take. But because I've broken so many different things, it's hard to predict um, what's gonna happen to me. Um, but yeah, it all is good. Um, I'll be making lots more videos now I'm at home um, and all the rest of it. Probably won't make one today about Rowan Dennis. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, if you, yeah, wanna get more info, I'll probably post some more stuff on Instagram because it's the best way of reaching out to all my friends and everything um, and people who follow me as well um, because yeah people are, people have been worried but everyone's been really nice and supportive and like I'm just happy to be know that I'll be back to like full recovery like by March I'll be like back to full fitness probably on the bike and like you know everything will be really good again um, and like you know it could have been a lot lot worse could have been paralyzed could have been dead maybe I don't know I mean it was a pretty serious crash um but yeah so it's all good don't worry about me anymore back at home back making videos watching the tour um and just recovering well um so yeah all is good thanks for watching hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one